hello great youtubers welcome back as promised in my previous video in this video i'm going to write a simple program in open plc create a relevant industrial application in factory io from scratch and then connect the two softwares and test the plc program in the 3d environment let's get started Before we start, kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you will always be notified whenever I upload new video. Before I start writing the PLC program, first let's see what machine I would like to control using this PLC program. Basically this is the machine I would like to control using the PLC program. For now, I will explain how the machine works and define the input and output for it. And after writing the PLC program, I will come back here, create a simple project and build this whole machine from scratch. So basically this machine is a simple conveyor that will convey a product from one particular point, that is this end, and then to this particular point. So in this project, we will have to identify the inputs and output we need for this machine so that we can generate our PLC program. Good. So looking at the machine, we have a control panel, which is basically where we will be starting and stopping the machine. We have the motor, that is the electric motor that will run the conveyor. So on the control panel, we have the start push button that will start the conveyor. And then we have a stop push button that was going to stop the conveyor. Okay, good. So with this understanding, we will move on to the open PLC editor and then write our simple direct online program to control this very conveyor. So with the open PLC editor, I go to file and then create new project so i create a new folder i right click and then select new so this is going to be our test underscore factory io i select this folder and then i click on select folder okay so project name is tests underscore fio project types to the same we will use ladder for our programming language so we need to create our variables for our projects our first variable is going to be our input which is our start data type is going to be boo and then the address okay so you need to note that we'll be using the mod bus so if we go to the open plc website and then we come to mod bus addressing we'll be able to see that we have mod bus address for the window and then Linux runtime this is the mapping of the mod bus address so basically we'll be using the window runtime to connect to factory io which means uh, open plc will act as a slave and then factory io will act as a master so with the slave output it start from qx100 and then if you look at the slave input also start from ix100 okay so with this addresses in mind we go back to the editor okay so from the manual the address is going to be percent ix 100.0 and then we add the next variable which is going to be our stop and the address is going to be 100.1 and then we add our last variable which is going to be our conveyor so we can call it let's say bc01 
and there's going to be an output so we need to change the address to Q and it's going to be our first output so Q100.0 ok great so if we look at factory IO so this is going to be our start button we've already named it our stop and then the motor which is going to drive the conveyor will be using a contactor and the contactor will be energized using the output which is the 100.0 that we've already defined great okay so we'll come back to the open plc editor and then write our simple program it's basically going to be a simple direct online program that previously we've used Okay, great. So a simple direct online. Okay, so now with the PLC program created, let us go back to the factory IO and then look at our machine. Okay, so within factory IO, I can go to the open to go back to my scene. And within factory IO, I can open the already designed machine that I have already created but as I promise I'm not going to use this already made one I'm going to design from scratch so that you'll be able to see and learn how to do this on your own okay so I'll go back to the main window and then go to new to create the new project okay so basically this is the interface where we will create our project but then let us meet in the next section where I will show you how to develop this whole machine from scratch. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.